I'm thinking this thing might actually start overheating, but I'm going to sit over here. <sighs> this is something you can do with a VR-180, you can't do with your head. See, they're always talking about what you can do, what you can do with a regular camera. But that's not the issue. The issue is, can you do it with your own head? No, you can't do this with your head. So that's what they should say whenever they're doing a VR 180 videos is you can't do this with your head. See, rather than saying you can't do this with a camera. Now anybody can do this with a camera, but you can't do this with your head. And so I think that should be kind of the thing we should do for the next decade is try to make pictures of things that no person can do with their head. So like things in really tight spots things with really small cameras, things that require stereo view, but the camera lenses are so close together. So we're gonna focus on, on really, really small things. Stereo microscopes, um, we'll do VR 180 with stereo microscopes so you can see like little bugs and you will go to bug theme parks and stuff. Instead of going to big theme parks, we will have bugs and we'll have really fast stereo cameras that are very small and we'll put them at the, at the level of a bug so we can see these bugs as they're moving by and make them so slow that they will look like dinosaurs. That's what we've got to do for this next decade. Um, should we survive it? This is what we need to do. Um, this is what I'm suggesting everyone do. And I call this extended reality. They're talking about virtual reality. They're talking about augmented reality, but they don't know about extended reality. What that means is you make really, really small stereo cameras and you put them on very, very small things that nobody can see with their own eyes and make those things look like they're gigantic by increasing the separation between the lenses but making the lenses very small and separating them by a very little bit and then somehow getting that onto a large array and recording it so that you can look at very, very small things as if they're really big, okay? That's, we've gone, we've gone into the seed, we've gone into the air, we've gone into microscopes, but we haven't experienced what it's like as if you were one tenth your size, if you were one hundredth your size, if you were one thousandth your size. And since we can make these chips so much smaller now, why aren't our cameras much smaller? Why aren't we taking videos of very small things? Why can't anybody take pictures of very small things, very videos of very small things? You know, it might change the way that you look at the world if you're trying to get, if you got an infection, you might take the very small camera and point it at your infection so you can see what all the, what all the cool kinds of nasty stuff's going on inside of your infection. Well, somebody just pulled up, so I gotta stop talking. Mm -hmm.